Hello, this is Dana Torrey, and with the help of Jessica and Elizabeth Torrey, we're going to make a painting. The goal of the design is going to be Liz and one of her favorite dogs, Billy. The painting will feature Liz and Billy in the midground and a pond in the foreground. Liz has had a lot of enjoyment at this pond, throwing a ball into the pond and having Billy retrieve it. After deciding the design and shape of the image, a painting surface had to be made. The painting surface is going to be a laminated wood material with a pine edge. Once the painting surface is completed, it will need to be primed and painted white to keep any oils in the wood from rising to the surface. The next step is to transfer the design sketch to the board using number two pencils and a projector. To remove any loose graphite and lower the brightness of the white paint, a colored wash is added to the surface. Both Liz and Jess enjoyed throwing a wash of color onto the painting surface. The next step is to block in the general shapes of the design. Colors will be used that are opposite to the finished colors. Flecks of the blocking seen through the finished colors will increase the vibrancy of the painting. The finished complementary colors are added with more precision than the blocking paint. It's exciting to see the finished painting coming to life as we add the finishing touches. At this point, the painting is still not complete, needs to be signed and varnished. I like to have the painting signed on the edge so it doesn't compete with the design. The varnish is usually two layers of the same material. It will unify the colors and protect the paint. In the end, we have a beautiful California Impressionist painting that will look great against a dark wall. Every time Liz takes a moment to enjoy the beauty of this painting, she can also be reminded of the wonderful time she had helping to make this painting. I hope the simplicity of making this painting motivates you in your own creative efforts.